In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins so as to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Enlighten, O God of compassion, the hearts of your children, sanctified by penance. And in your kindness, grant those you stir to a sense of devotion, a gracious hearing when they, when they cry out to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. 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 A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. King Nebuchadnezzar said, Is it true, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that you will not serve my God or worship the golden statue that I set up? Be ready now to fall down and worship the statue I have made. Whenever you hear the sound of the trumpet, flute, lyre, harp, psaltery, bagpipe, and all other musical instruments, Otherwise, you shall be instantly cast into the white-hot furnace. And who is the God who can deliver you out of my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered King Nebuchadnezzar, There is no need for us to defend ourselves before you in this matter. If our God, whom we serve, can save us from the white-hot furnace, and from your hands, O king, may he save us. But even if he will not, Know, O king, that we will not serve your God or worship the golden statue that you set up. King Nebuchadnezzar's face became livid with utter rage against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He ordered the furnace to be heated seven times more than usual and had some of his strongest men in the army bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and cast them into the white-hot furnace. Nebuchadnezzar rose in haste and asked his nobles, Did we not cast three men bound into the fire? Assuredly, O king, they answered. But, he replied, I see four men unfettered and unhurt, walking in the fire, and the fourth looks like the Son of God. Nebuchadnezzar explained, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who sent his angel to deliver the servants who trusted in him. They disobeyed the royal commandment and yielded their bodies rather than serve or worship any god except their own god. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory and praise forever. Glory, Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Glory, Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory, Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious forever. Glory and praise forever.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to those Jews who believed in him, If you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. They answered him, We are descendants of Abraham, and have never been enslaved to anyone. How can you say, You will become free? Jesus answered them, Amen, amen, I say to you, everyone who commits sin is a slave of sin. A slave does not remain in a household forever, but a son always remains. So if the son frees you, then you will truly be free. I know that you are descendants of Abraham, but you are trying to kill me, because my word has no room among you. I tell you what I have seen in the Father's presence, then do what you have heard from the Father. They answered and said to him, Our father is Abraham. Jesus said to them, If you were Abraham's children, you would be doing the works of Abraham. But now you are trying to kill me, a man who has told you the truth that I heard from God. Abraham did not do this. You are doing the works of your father. So they said to him, We are not born of fornication. We have one father, God. Jesus said to them, If God were your father, you would love me, for I came from God and am here. I did not come on my own, but he sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. another well, the mic's here it's another Wednesday and so we're going to try to do another kids homily today so the, the kids that are studying at home but this today we had a very beautiful story about three men who were going to suffer Shadrach Meshach and Bendigo and they were sent to the fiery furnace and the Lord meets them in the furnace I mean that's really kind of the thing we can kind of take away from this today. The Lord doesn't meet them outside the furnace. No, the Lord meets them in the furnace. The Lord meets them in suffering. When they're having times of trial. In the movie The Lion King, if you guys remember The Lion King, there was Mufasa and there was Simba. And Simba was getting chased by all these wildebeests, like a whole like army of wildebeests coming at Simba. Mufasa, to save his son, jumps in to grab his little cub out and pull him out to safety. Even it killed him, he did it anyway. It's very symbolic of the love Jesus has for us. He meets us in our sufferings. He meets us in our isolation. He dives into our pain to save us and heal us. Remember that. Nobody suffers alone, truly, because Christ dives into that through the mystery of the cross. God bless you guys. I love you. In peace, let us offer our prayers this morning to our loving Father. That the church may embrace the cost of discipleship before the powers of the world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That agents of violence may embrace peace, lest they be consumed by hatred, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who suffer injustice may be purified in faith and made strong in righteousness, Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the suffering of the sick may be eased by the divine presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may be gathered among the righteous of every age. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the intention of this Mass, the needs of Lolita Santiago, 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, you brought us to the kingdom of your beloved Son, who is with us in every trial. We ask you this morning to hear our prayers and grant them through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Receive back, O Lord, these sacrificial offerings, which we have given to be offered to the honor of your name, and grant that they may become remedies for our healing, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty. Since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Oscar our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you. Through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord, bring us heavenly medicine, that they may purge all evil from our heart and strengthen us with eternal protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Attend, Almighty God, to the prayers of your people, and as you endow them with confident hope in your compassion, let them feel as ever the effects of your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.